Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Today we're going to go over the World tab. Um, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial guys, I'm sorry, I've been busy. Uh, but now I'm back again and I hope to do a bunch of tutorials for you guys. Um, I now have a Twitter, so if you have Twitter and you want to uh, follow me, just go to uh, twitter.com slash super3 and the links in the video description so let's go ahead and move on so today we're gonna be using our uh, default cube um, we're just gonna go down here into uh, the materials tab and then go down here to the world tab okay so there's a bunch of options here very helpful options um, that we haven't played with much before uh, you have the world background color. So for example, if I was to make a render, let's actually, this is a bit big, so let's make this smaller so we can save time. Um, you can see this background color here is the same color that's down here in this left corner. So this is the background color uh, of your render. Um, we can change this um, to different things. If we wanted to make it pink, um, we can go back up here and see now the background image is pink or the background color is pink or we can change it even to white if we wanted to do many things with it. Alright, uh, as you can see there's also other colors here. Uh, for example, I'm going to set that at black. Um, but it's not doing anything in our preview window. Uh, there are several options here, like uh, Blend, um, that you can play with that kind of transitions uh, between uh, the two colors here, kind of like a gradient. So if you render that out, you can see how it kind of goes from the dark to light. And you can make that to uh, do a kind of sky or, or whatever you want to play with. Uh, with that, uh, there's several other options here that I'm not going to get into. I do all sorts of effects, as you can see previewed there. Um, you can play around with those. So just get different background uh, colors for what you need. Alright, so let's go and change this back to just a regular background. And let's stick that at black. Um. Oh, we'll leave it at white for now, since I'm going to show you Mist. Uh, Mist is what it sounds like. Uh, it does uh, little mist particles that it can uh, obscure certain objects. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our editing tab here, uh, make an array of cubes, uh, increment the offset up a little, make a bunch of cubes so we can better see this example. So I'm going to go into the camera view, I'm going to size this down, and just kind of play with it and center it in the middle of the camera. So we're going to go back here to our uh, materials and then world, and select mist. And as you can see, there's um, several options here. Um, start, like the label says, specifies the starting distance of the meth, me mist. Uh, depth of the myth and how high you want it to go. Um, so let's just give it a few values here. You can play with these to your liking and render it. Doesn't do much so far. So let's uh, keep on playing with these values till we get something that we want. Oh, not having much luck here. Uh, we also have to set the uh, mist intensity. Whoops. Alright. See, there's kind of a mist over there. Let's keep on increasing that. Alright, then we got some good mist uh, here. See how um, it's obscured. The uh, cubes are starting to be obscured as I increase the intensity of the mist. Now you can't even see them at all. Um, but this would be used if you're doing like 
a dark alley scene or like a haunted house or something like that. You want it to be uh, kind of misty and things to be obscured. Um, you can also play with these different uh, values uh, to get what you want. Um, the last thing we're going to go over, we're going to set this back to black uh, because we're going to be doing stars. So I simply select uh, that little star button right there, render it out. As you can see, looks like our cubes are in space now. Make kind of a, I don't know, a Borg ship from Star Trek or whatever you want to do. Um, but that's a simple way you can model uh, stars uh, in the background and you can see each individual little star uh, in our view here see all these little dots all the little stars um, you can there's several different options here too star distance uh, as you increase it the stars will go farther apart uh, as you decrease it uh, they'll get something like that and you also have a preview down here um, so let's just look and how see how it looks. Way too many stars. Um, so let's decrease that a bit. Sorry, wrong one. Or increase that a bit to get less stars. Uh, we also have uh, minimum distance. You can play with a little. And the size of the stars. You want ginormous. Uh, stars, or do you want little teeny specks? That's a lot. It's a little bit too big. Let's see, a lot more smaller stars here. And this call noise. This uh, basically, uh, when when it's set to zero, it's just white stars. But when you change this all the way up to one. It's going to kind of change the color, random colors, um, to each star. Kind of like uh, confetti or confetti little dots, or I don't know what to call them, but it looks really weird. Um, you can play around with that. Um, but that's it for the world tab uh, so far. Uh, we went over uh, setting the background color, uh, mist, and uh, making little stars. Um, back there. But I hope you uh, learned a little bit more about Blender in this tutorial, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial, which is going to be on height maps. Uh, another uh, heavily requested uh, topic. Okay, well, I will see you guys in the next tutorial, and don't forget to visit uh, nistic.com for the high quality versions of the tutorials you can download the tutorials and the associated blend files and if you need any help or have any questions you can also go to the forum there and we have tons of people that would uh, be happy to help so uh, see you guys in the next tutorial and have fun with the world tab